In today's video, we'll be looking at five new things that are added to Laravel version 9.30.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this ability to discard eloquent modal changes. So let me show you that over here. So here I have a user. Let me just find the first user and you can see the name and email of this user is this. Now, if I just set this name and email to laratips and laratips at test.com and just return a user from here like this, then you can see here everything is same, but the name and the email has changed. But let's say you did some operations over here, okay? You did some of your work and you want the original model back. Then you can just do user discard changes and it will discard whatever the changes that you have made on a model. After discarding, let me get the user. You can see that the name and email has been reverted back. Now, before moving to the next thing, I would like you to introduce to this video sponsor, which is Honey Badger. It is obvious that we run into some errors. Everyone's code will have some errors even if the code is written by amazing developers like my viewers. In such case, Honeybazer can be your best friend. Honeybazer allows you to monitor those errors, uptime, check-ins and deployments in real time with easy to use interface. With that you'll be able to know what happened immediately when your customers encounter those errors whenever they are using your application or website. Then you'll be notified via email, SMS, Slack and many more immediately. You can easily install Honeybazer in minutes and when something goes wrong in your application you can go to your dashboard and see full detail of the errors which will help you to solve the issue much more faster. And thanks to Honeybazer for sponsoring this video. Honeybazer has both free and paid version and you can check the link in the description and be a DevOps hero in minutes by using Honeybazer. Now let's move to the second thing which is added. The second thing is added this required if accepted validation rule. Now I have this here validation over here. Let's say this is the data that is coming from the request has child zero and child name is this. And we have written here the validation rule required if had child, which means that if the had child is accepted, then only will require this child name. And if you don't know about the accepted validation rule, there is also accepted validation rule. If we add accepted, then the value must be either one, two, on or yes. It is basically for a checkbox. Suppose let's say there is a checkbox that has been checked, then we'll get a value as one or by default we'll get on. And if it is checked, if it is on, then it means that this has been checked. And we are saying that name is required if child has been checked. And now let me run it, then I'll get the data child name. Now let me just remove this from here and try to run, then we'll get that the child name is required and it is coming from this because we are modifying the message for this required if accepted. So whenever this validation fails, then it will return this child name is required message. And let me again write here apple. Then again, it will give me this child name apple because we have on over here and this validation passes. Now let us move to the third thing that has been added, which is scoped file system driver. And you can see here now we can add this driver equals to scoped and this prefix and disk over here. So let me show you what is the benefit of this. Let me go over here in the file system, which is inside this config folder. Now here we have this public local disk, all the disks that we have. I have just added this for example, just to show you. And this is S3 again. Okay? And whenever you install a new Laravel version from today onwards, this thing will be automatically added. But if you are just updating the Laravel version, then don't forget to install one package. Let me show you. You have to install this league fly system path prefixing package. And after that, you will be able to use this driver scoped. Previously, if we wanted to create next disk, which is similar to this published disk, but only some path is changed, then we had to just duplicate it. And let's say 
underscore videos here also videos and here now i had to write videos because we want all the videos to be inside the videos directory now we don't have to do this you can see here so many things is duplicated this 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 everything is duplicated we only had to change this thing so in order to prevent the duplication we can now do it in a different way using the driver equals to scoped so here i am using driver equals to scoped and then we have to define the disk on which this is scoped so this is scoped to this public the disk name will be this the key and prefix is the path to the file system so here after the public the videos will be added over here similarly i have created another for public image now let me go over here so here let me show you this one this disk public okay get config run and you can see here driver root url and visibility and for public video we have written these things but whenever we try to get this get config we'll get the merged config you can see here everything is same only prefix we have different over here okay now let us try to use those here like this so i am using this public public video and public image and here i have dix sorry default.txt on each and every one of these and then public content public video content and public image content so let me run it and it is returning true and now if i go here in the file system and here in the stories app and public then you can see here the default one this is coming from this one public content so if you look here it has public content similarly we have images and videos and you can see here public video content and here you have public image content this is very very useful feature and thank you very very much for frank dezonji for implementing this feature now let us move to the fourth thing that has been added which is this ability to determine if the attachment exists before we could check if there was two or there was subject in a male object now there is this has attachment if you see over here this has attachment method this has been added and we can check whether an attachment has been attached to that male object or not let me just show you that over here in the test mailing test i have this testing mail we can just to psp artist and make mail and testing mail and it will be created and we can use it over here and now i am attaching this favicon.jpg to this mail and here i can check whether this is true or false so it must return true so this test must pass because this file is attached to this test mail so now let me run php unit then you can see here it is passing okay now let me turn it to jpeg and again run this test then you can see here it has failed so this is the method that has been added now fifth and the final thing that has been added is this force option on all the make commands before there was dash dash force option in only few of the make commands php artisan make command but now this has been added in all the make commands 